Are you ready for a story? I've got a little story for you. Pearl and Ida lived with their mum, dad and two dogs in a small house in a busy city. Every day their dad rode his bike to work and he didn't come back until it was time for tea. One morning they were busy bouncing on the bed when their mum came in and said, put on your wellies, it's time to go adventuring. They crossed busy road after busy road until they came to the entrance of a huge park. The bushes on either side of the gate were full of chatty sparrows. Hello little sparrow, said Pearl as she peeped in the bush. Can we come in? What's the secret password? One sparrow whistled back. Flutterbug! The girls giggled as they ran into the park. The grass was covered with daisies, buttercups and dandelions, perfect for making grand crowns. Big sticks became two horses and they galloped towards the woods. They leapt over logs and neighed as three shocked pigeons scattered into the sky. Arriving at the top of the biggest hill in the park, they lay down. Ready, steady, go! Roly-poly, roly-poly, down they went until they landed in the long tickly grass at the bottom. Close by lay a bumblebee. Is it having a nap? asked Ida. They decided to build it a house and looked for everything they could find to make it comfortable. Four small sticks placed carefully around it, some flowers for food and a big green leaf for a sofa and a tiny white feather for a cushion. There, now all it needs is a bedtime story, said Pearl quietly, so they made one up for it. Goodbye, Bee, we will see you tomorrow, they said. They jumped up and ran into the woods shouting, count to ten and come and find us. A den made of sticks resting on a large beech tree was the perfect hiding spot. They crawled inside and sat on a log like two little frogs. Boo, I found you, Mum's head peeped in. I thought you might like these. She handed over two magic wands made from sticks and string. Pearl pointed hers and hollered, jump. The two little frogs hopped off towards the stream. A robin was at the water's edge. They both paused to watch him and the robin watched them. Splash! Into the stream they went and off he flew. Goodbye Robin, we will see you tomorrow, they shouted. They sat down in a sunny spot to enjoy a picnic when Ida spotted a mouse. The mouse paused long enough for them to see its little nose twitching before diving back down into a nearby hole. They rushed up and squatted by the entrance, both trying to peer inside. Can you see anything? No. Can you? No, they sighed. I know, said Ida. Let's leave it some cheese. So they did. They left a whole cheese sandwich just outside its front door. Goodbye, mouse. We will see you tomorrow, they whispered. On the way home, they passed their favourite patch of brambles. Little fingers reached carefully between the thorns, pinching today's crop of big, juicy blackberries. On one of the leaves sat a little ladybird. Nose to nose with the little ladybird, Pearl said, if I pick you up, you won't poo on me, will you? The ladybird crawled onto her finger and did a poo. Ida giggled. Heading home for tea, the girls were tired and happy. That was a good day, said Pearl. That was a great day, said Ida. Okay, kids, so what do you like to do when you play outside? <laughs>